And here are the top 25 electric cars expected to be released very soon. Mazda MX-30 Electric The all-electric MX-30 will feature a single 143 horsepower electric motor driving the front wheels. All-wheel drive will not be offered. However, we've discovered that there will be a plug-in hybrid version with an electric motor. A rotary gasoline engine, so all-wheel drive may still be an option. The MX-30's 32 kilowatt hour battery pack is modest in comparison to other electric cars. Mazda predicts that its driving range will be approximately 100 miles per charge, less than half of Chevrolet Bolt EV and the Kona electric range. The battery will charge using both conventional alternating current and more contemporary and quicker direct current chargers. Starting price is $34,600. Volvo XC40 Plug-in Hybrid Electric While regular Volvo's XC40 comes with a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, this engine produces 187 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque in the T4 and 248 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque in the T5. A smooth shifting 8-speed automatic gearbox sends power to the wheels. The T8 recharge version includes two 150 kilowatt electric motors, one on each axle, for all-wheel drive. A 78 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery backs up. The combined output of 402 net horsepower and 486 pound-feet of torque is far beyond expectations for this model, the 208 mile range model. The pricing of the 2022 XC40 is expected to remain at the $34,795 range of the present model. Hyundai Kona Electric A 64 kilowatt hour battery powers a 201 horsepower electric motor that drives the front wheels. Convertibles are more fuel efficient, but they are also more expensive. Like the regular Kona, the electric variant is enjoyable to go on a winding two-lane. One-pedal driving is possible with aggressive regenerative braking, extending range by one mile over the Bolt EV. To charge the Kona Electric at home, we suggest a 240 volt outlet or a DC fast charging station. At $35,185, it is one of the most affordable electric vehicles of this brand. Fisker Ocean The 2022 Ocean is powered entirely by electricity. It will be available with two or all wheel drive. The fastest version is claimed to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. That is all we know for sure regarding Fisker's next SUV's engine. It has also been reported that the Ocean would feature a battery pack with a capacity of at least 80 kilowatt hours. The forthcoming Ocean is anticipated to have a range of 250 to 300 miles, which is more than that of the Audi e-tron and Jaguar I-Pace. However, it is much less expensive than either of those luxury all-electric crossovers. The Ocean will be compatible with the vast majority of EV charging stations. $37,400 is the starting price. Mercedes-Benz EQB The EQB was revealed in China, where it will be available initially as a fully equipped vehicle. With a standard AMG line appearance, all-wheel drive, and two motors producing a total of 288 horsepower. Europe will receive the EQB 354 Matic with approximately 268 horsepower and the front-wheel drive EQB 250 with 221 horsepower. A mid-level variant intended as a long-range vehicle will also be available. The EQB will be available in Europe and China by the end of the 2021 calendar year. We anticipate that the entry-level model will cost about $40,000 when it comes to the United States in mid-2022 as a 2023 model. Nissan Aria We eagerly await the EPA's official range estimates for the Aria, which will be available with 63 and 87 kilowatt hour battery packs. Nissan expects a range of up to 300 kilometers. Considering the current LEAF hatchback has two range choices, the basic 2022 Nissan Aria could have about 250 miles of range, with higher end versions nearing 300 miles. The LEAF has long been one of the most inexpensive electric vehicles. Despite the Aria's SUV form and 300 mile range, Nissan expects a starting price of about $40,000. Toyota BZ4X The BZ4X is expected to hit Toyota showrooms in mid-2022. 
Its muscular appearance sets it apart from Toyota's gasoline-powered SUVs. Despite just revealing the BZ4X, Toyota has filed several trademark applications for other BZ names, leading us to believe the company is developing a family of electric vehicles. Apart from all-wheel drive, Toyota hasn't disclosed much about the BZ4X's powertrain. That may mean two electric motors, one for each axle, or an all-wheel drive system with one electric motor powering both axles. Toyota has released no price or trim level information. Still, we expect it to start in the mid $30,000 with loaded models exceeding the $40,000. Volkswagen ID4 The 2022 Volkswagen ID4 is an electric powered compact SUV. In terms of size, it sits slightly below Volkswagen's small Tiguan SUV in the company's range. Despite having a minor appearance than the Tiguan, the ID4 offers a comparably roomy cabin. The ID4 was introduced in 2021 with just one engine option, a single electric motor that drove the back wheels. It has 201 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque and is powered by an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack. We anticipate that Volkswagen will introduce an all-wheel drive variant in the ID4 range in 2022. A second engine will power the front wheels, increasing total horsepower to 302 horsepower and significantly boosting the content. The current rear-wheel drive ID4 has an EPA range of 260 or 250 miles depending on trim level. Still, we anticipate the new all-wheel drive version to have a range of about 300 miles. The estimated starting price is $41,190. Ford Mustang Mach-E The Ford Mustang Mach-E 2022 is a stylish and sporty all-electric luxury SUV. While it is not technically linked to the regular Ford Mustang, its look and feel are heavily influenced by Ford's icon. It's not the quickest EV on the market, and there are others with more range than the Mach-E. However, we believe it provides an outstanding balance of performance and capacity, particularly considering the well-appointed interior and superb in-car technology. This is the most prominent rival of the Tesla Model Y. It has a more extended EPA-estimated range than the Mach-E. Other premium EVs in this class include the Audi e-tron and the Jaguar I-Pace, but we believe the Mustang Mach-E outperforms both of them. Since the Mach-E debuted only this year, we don't expect Ford to make any modifications for 2022. The price would likely be in the same range as the 2021 model, which is $44,000. Audi Q4 e-tron The Q4 e-tron is designed to do everything well. It checks all the boxes on paper, and in practice, it's challenging to identify significant flaws. The 40 has 201 bhp and 228 pound-feet of torque and an 82 kilowatt hour battery that can charge 80 miles in 10 minutes with a suitable charger. The mid-range Q4 has a top speed of 99 miles per hour and a range of 316 miles. Audi anticipates that the 40 will account for 60% of total sales. If you choose the 50 power plant, you'll receive 295 bhp and 339 pound-feet of torque across the front and back axles, with a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 6.2 seconds. The Q4 e-tron 50 Quattro has a top speed of 111 miles per hour and a somewhat shorter range of 298 miles. The Q4 e-tron accelerates quickly to 30 miles per hour and takes a good 8.5 seconds to reach 62 miles per hour, but the torque remains constant regardless of speed. Three levels are available at a starting price of $45,000. Byton M. Byte Electric powertrains for the M. Byte will be offered in two configurations. All-wheel drive versions have two 268 horsepower electric motors, while rear-wheel drive ones have one. Byton claims the single motor rear-wheel drive configuration takes 7.5 seconds to 62 miles per hour. In comparison, the dual motor all-wheel drive system takes two seconds off. The M-range Byte will likely vary depending on the model, with entry-level versions sporting 72 kilowatt hour batteries and higher-end ones wearing 95 kilowatt hour batteries. The M Byte may also be charged at household outlets utilizing 110 or 220 volts. It has a starting price of $45,000. Kia EV6 
The EV6 is a crossover SUV hatchback hybrid that embraces contrast both inside and out. Its 58 or 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack powers either a single rear wheel drive motor or twin all wheel drive motors. On one hand, the smaller battery and single motor generate 167 horsepower, while the larger battery delivers 218 horsepower. 313 horsepower, 5.1 second, 0 to 60 miles per hour. A performance oriented EV6 GT with a limited slip rear differential generates 577 horsepower and 546 pound feet of torque and speeds up from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. The EV6 can tow up to 3,500 pounds with a 35% battery charge. The most efficient EV6 aspires for a 300 mile range, but that may change in the field. All versions can charge from 10% to 80% in only 18 minutes using 800 volt rapid charging. The larger battery enables rear drive models to recover 62 miles in under 4.5 minutes. The EV6 can supply 3.6 kilowatts to charge large power tools, appliances, or other EVs, all for under $45,000 per. MG Marvel R Electric The MG Marvel R Electric pushes the boundaries of design, technology, and appeal even further. What distinguishes the Marvel R Electric is that it combines efficiency with excellent performance, acceleration 4.9 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour, and a top speed of 200 km per hour. It is a pleasure to drive, ride, and handle. The Marvel R Electric, for example, is outfitted with an aluminum suspension subframe and components usually seen exclusively in sports vehicles. Its starting price is $47,500. Jeep Wrangler Magneto The Jeep Wrangler Magneto takes a unique approach to multi-speed EVs. Designers added a low-speed electric motor that can nearly replace the Wrangler's 3.6-liter V6. The electric motor's numbers outperform the V6's, which delivers 285 horsepower, 260 pound-feet, and max out at 6600 RPM. Unusual for an electric motor, the powertrain is tuned to react much like it replaces a gasoline engine. For its part, Jeep claims the Magneto concept can reach 60 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds. The two-door Wrangler with the V6 and six-speed manual got to 60 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds. Vehicle starting price is $47,995. Mercedes-Benz EQA the EQA 250's basic electric motor produces 188 horsepower and only powers the front wheels. There will be a range-optimized EQA and an all-wheel drive version with 268 horsepower. Its heavy curb weight hampered the 188 horsepower EQA 250 we tested. While it seemed quick in town, it became sluggish over 60 miles per hour. Its acceleration goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.9 seconds and has an electronically restricted maximum speed of 99 miles per hour. The EQA's 66.5 kilowatt hour battery pack will provide 200 to 250 miles of driving range. Price is $57,000. Volvo C40 Recharge All C40 Recharge versions come with two electric motors, one up front and one in the back, with up to 402 horsepower and standard all-wheel drive. Volvo says the C40 Recharge can reach 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. This engine is also in the XC40 Recharge and the Polestar 2 electric vehicle, which hits 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds on our test track. The C40 Recharge has a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack under the floor that Volvo claims would provide 210 miles of driving range per charge. All C40 Recharge models will charge to 80% in only 40 minutes using 150 kilowatt DC fast charging. Charging at home with a 110 or 220 volt outlet is also feasible, although charging times will be slower. It has a starting price of $59,845. Cadillac Lyric The back wheel drive is normal with an all-electric motor on the rear axle. All-wheel drive is available with a second motor moving the front wheels. The Lyric's all-wheel drive engine is yet to be revealed. For this reason, we are unaware of how much horsepower it will generate. 
the rear wheel drive variant is reported to produce 340. Due to the instantaneous nature of an electric motor's power supply, acceleration will be quick in any case. The I-Pace hits 60 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds. We anticipate the Lyric to be similarly quick. Price is $59,990. Volvo XC90 Electric. The inside of the 2020 Volvo XC90 is minimalistic and beautiful, and it sets the XC90 different from rival three-row SUVs. The Volvo XC90's interior design isn't the only feature that sets it apart. Unlike other competitors, the XC90 only has a four-cylinder engine. Notably, the T8's top engine has a plug-in battery pack. This plug-in hybrid's 400 horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque provide plenty of power and economy. Despite its tech flaws, the XC90 is a good option in this category. The new suspension and T8 hybrid brake pedal make recommending the Volvo XC90 even simpler. Starting price for this model is $67,000. Mercedes-Benz EQC The Mercedes-Benz EQC is a 5-seat electric SUV based on a substantially modified GLC. The EQC is 105mm longer and 315mm lower than the GLC in terms of dimensions. It does, however, have a comparable wheelbase of 2,873mm. The Mercedes-Benz EQC is anticipated to have two motors. This comprises one engine on the front and one on the back axles. An 80 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery is said to power the electric motor, producing 402 bhp and 765 nm of torque. The commercial model will have a fast charging option and a driving range of 400 kilometers. The EQC features a starting price of $67,900. Rivian R1S the R1S's 14.5-inch ground clearance improves off-road capabilities. Rivian says the R1S will go from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. The Rivian R1S 2022 will come in three battery sizes, 105, 135, and 180 kilowatt hours. Each wheel of the R1S features an electric motor. The R1S offers up to 800 horsepower and 900 pound-feet of torque depending on battery capacity. Depending on the battery, range estimates range from 240 to 400 miles. Rivian says the most extensive battery isn't available in the 7-seat arrangement. The Rivian R1S will start at about $70,000. GMC Hummer SUV the full-size electric SUV may have 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 pound-feet of torque. Three separate motors contained in two Ultium drive units would provide this enormous power. Lower-powered GMC Hummer SUVs are conceivable. The 2022 GMC Hummer EV SUV will feature fast charging and a range of 400 miles or more. The Hummer EV SUV may include four-wheel steer with crab walk, allowing the vehicle to travel diagonally by letting the rear and front wheel steer simultaneously. The electric Hummer SUV's unique E4WD drive technology should offer agility unmatched by GM. According to GMC, the Hummer EV's suspension's extract mode is advantageous. Now on the market for $80,000. Porsche Macan EV The Macan EV, according to Porsche, will have a substantially more fantastic range than the current Taycan. That means it should outperform the 227 mile EPA estimated range of the 2021 Taycan 4S model, which is now the longest in the lineup. This will be critical to compete with rival electric crossovers such as the Ford Mustang Mach-E and Tesla Model Y both of which have versions with EPA range ratings of more than 300 miles. The EV will use the Taycan's 800 volt design, which allows for rapid charging at a maximum of 270 kilowatts. Like the Taycan, Porsche intends to offer two battery capacities. The Macan is presently offered in four trim levels, Basic, S, Turbo, and GTS with turbo four-cylinder or turbo V6 engines. The Taycan starts at 
Lucid Gravity. The dual motor SUV will be available in two versions, one with 800 horsepower and another 1080 horsepower. The chassis and motors should be roughly similar to the airs, so expect a single motor gravity with 480 or 620 horsepower and about 360 miles of range at one end of the spectrum. Range numbers should be in the 400 to 450 mile range depending on wheel and tire fitting. The SUV's initial price will be approximately $85,000. Bollinger B1 The B1 has two electric motors, one at the front and the other at the back, producing 614 horsepower. Bollinger predicts a 4.5 second 0 to 60 miles per hour pace with all-wheel drive. With a 15-inch ground clearance and a two-speed transfer case, the B1 should be able to go off-road. 7,500 pound towing capability and 5,201 pound payload capacity. The battery pack on board provides up to 200 miles of driving range. The B1 may be charged through 110 or 220 volt outlets or via DC rapid charging. Bollinger states a full charge will take approximately 75 minutes using this method. It estimates a 220 volt charge will take about 10 hours and does not estimate a 110 volt demand. Starting price of this vehicle is expected to be around $125,000. BMW iX With two electric motors providing 516 horsepower combined, the X-Drive 50 is the brand's first all-electric small SUV. All-wheel drive is standard. That's enough to get the iX to 60 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds and 124 miles per hour top speed. The X-Drive 50 will be followed by the M60, which will have over 600 horsepower. There is an enormous 106.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that BMW says will provide the iX 300 miles per charge. The iX charges from 10% to 80% in only 35 minutes when connected to a 200 kilowatt outlet. There will be public charging stations for the iX thanks to EVgo. Still, the SUV can also charge at home using other networks, including Level 2 charging. The EPA hasn't released the iX's fuel economy statistics or confirmed BMW's 300-mile range claim. Price is $85,500. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these videos shown on your screen right now.